Alrighty, hey there everybody, how y'all doing today? Hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. My name is Sally, very known as Lady Foxheart, and today we are playing some more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Also, happy Pride Month, everybody! Hope you guys are having a good day, good month. Uh, hope everything goes well for everyone today. How you doing, Yuki? How you doing, Ziki? I saw Pucky G, I saw Latimer. What is up, guys? Witch Hunter and Lunar Song. Thank you for the follow as well, my dudes. Any good plans for the for the day, for the week? Any fun plans for the weekend? How was your weekend, by the way, everybody? Got any fun things you all want to share and talk about? Hmm. Man, this Eurobeat mix really does go hard. Like, holy shit. <laughs> I only just woke up, like, not too long ago. So, like, I just, I, mean, I finally got my coffee, like, like in my cup right now. I'm drinking out of my Silver Venus mug right now. A very EP weekend. My sleep schedule has been absolute dog shit. And I really need to get, like, I really need to get my, my act together and wake the fuck up on a normal time again. <laughs> It was chill, I was grinding games like Warframe and Minecraft. What are you grinding in Minecraft, if you don't mind me asking? Like achievements or like uh, specific materials? I think I only played like a little bit of uh, Fallout. I played a little bit of Fallout and I played some uh, VR chat over the weekend. And holy shit. <laughs> The stuff that uh, that uh, only a throwaway is doing with my VR chat model is amazing. Like every time, like he adds something, there's like 30 more options, and like just trying to make sure we got everything all testing out and working out. And so far, it looks like my 3D model from him is uh, coming out nicely. We even got like a sex toy working with the, with the thing, so it's like. Every time someone were to touch or fuck the, the model, the toy would vibrate. Get them do cats. Playing around with the Tigris construction add on. Okay. That seems like a little bit loud. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Oogity boogity. Hey, Sir Tutalini. Guess how you doing, honey buns? Bam, 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 bam. I'm sorry, the music's actually fun. <laughs> Good lord, girl. What? Also, I also got some good news. I finally got my uh, new cable in today. It feels cheap, but I think that's just like the nylon braiding that's around it. But the quality sounds pretty nice. So I have a long ass fucking cable again. So I'm not like hunched over. Or I'm still hunched over, but I'm not like. Forced to be super duper close to the uh, to the computer for, just for it to be able to connect. You're going in ham on VR chat, man. Is doing that kind of stuff was something I've always wanted to do with VR chat. Like one thing I want to do in VR chat is I get uh, full body tracking, especially with the uh, Valve Index, and just. Running in the 90s, right? Uh, do that uh, and just basically enjoy. Uh, blah, 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 I can't speak. Not only enjoy like the the loot set side of VR chat, but also use like VR chat for like a way to start streaming on. Kind of like how I think I want to say like Fillion does, because uh, I believe she uses like VR chat like frequently and like she uses her model in game to like basically focus on like being able to move around with the whole world and this and that really instead of just being like a static image or like just being reduced to being alone in a corner because i feel like that would be make, make content a lot more easier like i'll be able to move my whole fucking body my arms and my legs and everything like that and then the after dark section is gonna be just more for pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Wake the fuck up, Samurai. Oh. 
Alright. So how are you doing, Sexual Lineas? I hope you're having a good day. So yeah, before I get started, I want to say my usual stuff to help support me and all the things I do. If you want to support me and all the things I do, check out all the links I have down below in the description or in the side chat over here. Or pressing X which way social support and thrown in the chat. Or check out all the links I have down below in the description. Pressing social media, except typing X which point social will give you links to my social media, like my uh, not shape work Twitter, which is also my main Twitter. I'm boring on main, but uh, you can go follow me on twittercom forward slash Lee Foxheart. Or if you're just more into like the secret work stuff, twitter.com for us as Lady Fox at VT for like for VTuber. Feel free to join in the Discord at discord.gg for us at Foxhole. We're a nice, happy, lovely, lewd bunch. We're all very friendly in here. Uh, I also I also like a live stream my artworks in there. We all hang out, we play video games in the voice chats as well. And hey, if the loot section is not your is not your cup of tea, you can always go ahead and participate in the other safe work channels. Also, if you subscribe, you can also join in the Twitch subs only voice chat. So instead of me talking, you the South the viewer can go ahead and talk as well on stream. Hey, if you miss a stream, you can always go ahead and check out my VOD channel at youtube.com for us at Lady Foxheart. So we can go ahead and catch up on streams that you might have missed. <laughs> Newgrounds too. Oh, I'm also on Newgrounds. But you can go ahead and uh, to support, you can check out my Patreon for patreon.com for uh, patreon.com for slash Lady Foxer for artwork I've drawn. Not sure to anywhere else. Uh, it's a nice, wonderful way to help support me, like to tip your artist, basically. Uh, I'm also always open for art commissions. So you can check out that Newgrounds link in the commissions tab there. It'll give you a link to my current price sheet. And donations are also greatly appreciated. Like you can go check out my tip jar at streamlabs.com for us at Foxheart. Because my commissions and my and donations are like my main source of income. To help support me, my family, my friends, help me get basic necessities like groceries, replacement items, pay off medical bills, and so much more. And lastly, feel free to go ahead and check out my throne wish list at throne.me for us you for us lady foxheart. I have a lot of cool items in there, especially a lot of loot items in there too. But also got like stuff for like a shop I want to make on through Etsy. So like I have a uh, a Cricut Explorer three in there, so that I can like stickers and cut out like labels for my candles. Uh, I got a compressed air duster in there. I have. A Valve Index VR kit on there, a Vivian Witch hat, and so much more. Like, there's a lot of cool items in there, including cosplays. So, like, check it out. If you guys want to send your favorite uh, Fox Girl here a wonderful gift, that's part of the place to do it. Also, one last thing, and I keep saying that too. If we were to go ahead and get to 100 subscribers, I will be playing a Zelda Ocarina of Time randomizer. But it will be crowd controlled, so we're going to bring back crowd control for for this. We'll be playing the Ship of Arcanian uh, version, which is the PC port of the game. And it also has a built-in randomizer in there as well, so it it's going to work out pretty smoothly, hopefully. If we get to 150 subscribers, we will be playing the Zelda CDI games, the Wanda Gamelon and the Link versus the Forces of Faces of Evil, which is the remastered versions of the games. Oh shit, we shipping? We shipping where? What? Where? Huh? What? I ship my mouth with my cock? <laughs> oh, ship of Arcanian, dude. I'm stupid. <laughs> and, uh, that's, if we get to 100 subscribers for that, though. Uh, and if we get to 200 subscribers, I will be playing Final Fantasy VII Original with mods. Like, we're gonna have, like, a voice acting mod in there. We're gonna have... Like, uh, mods that just, like, simple casual, like, quality of life mods, really. You know, my first time hopefully trying to beat Final Fantasy VII. And with each Final Fantasy VII session that we do, I will be wearing makeup, I'll be wearing wigs, I'll be dressing up in various outfits, female, female outfits, female clothing. So, it could be, I could be wearing my, uh, my, ma my latex maid dress, I could be wearing my, uh, Playboy Bunny outfit, Playboy Hooters outfit again. I could be wearing my default outfit that I'm wearing here right now on my screen. And like so much more. Like, and plus, if you guys want to send me an outfit, like T 
Tifa's outfit or Aerith's outfit for the uh, for the uh, in my in my wish list for the streams. Just know that I will be wearing them. Fully face cam and everything. It's not going to be through a PNG tuber or a VTuber model, so you'll get the full fucking deal for each session. And for those who don't know, like, hi, I'm Sally, I'm trans, and uh, it's Pride Month. <laughs> so, I, I need more excuses and, like, a bigger reason to, like, force me to, like, doll myself up for, for stream for everyone else. Please put her in Aerith's outfit at the... Just dress up in Aerith's outfit at the end of disc one. It would be so funny. Dude, if I were to get Aerith's outfit, because if we get the Final Fantasy sub goal... I'm putting the uh, the VTuber and the PNG tuber to rest, so it's just gonna be me on camera, like all dolled up, all dressed up. So it would be it would be very funny if I do that. No excuses, don't need any. <laughs> true, true. But like, if I feel like I don't know if it's like an ADD thing or something, but like. If I get like a good reason to like to, to 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 motivate me enough to to do something, it's it, it, it like forces me to do it. Not saying I don't want to. It's more like I have a reason to now. I, I it's like it's something that will help me like get up and go. I did it for you, girl. What did you do, Brett? Uh, I did it for you, girl. True, true. Yeah, so like, I really hope we can get those subs in. Hopefully, it would be even better if we do it during Pride Month. Because straight up like, hey, I'm trans, I'm bisexual. And, and dolling myself up and doing it during Pride Month, I feel like it's more fitting. And yes, I'll be completely shaven. I'll be I'll be wearing like the makeup, everything. Everything's going to be feeling right, hopefully. All right, so without a further ado, let me go ahead and scream. Ah, it's just, no. Uh, let me go ahead and switch things over to the game screen. Let's go play some Paper uh, Vivian, Paper Mario, a thousand year cock. Oh, you belong over here, actually. Ha, ah! <laughs> I was like, why is the audio not happening? It's like, oh, that's right. I also gotta make sure I mute the TV here. Man, I'm, I'm fucking excited. I really hope we can get those subs in. I really hope that we all can have a nice, wonderful, uh, fantastic time today as well. So let's uh, go. Oh, also, I'll be joining in the voice chat right now. So if any of my subscribers wish to join in now, this is the perfect time to do so. Just make sure that you have your Twitch account and your Discord accounts linked together, and we can. And your name will turn purple. And if your name's purple in the in the Discord chat, the Twitch subs only VC uh, voice channel will be accessible to you. Did we already listen to uh, Luigi here? Well, I got another piece of that uh, marvelous campus at Jazzafraz uh, Town uh, uh, this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I tried adventuring into an art form on that little quest. Ooh, it was pretty dramatic, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. I did not listen to him. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as we hit Jazzafresh Town, we were overcome by the glitch and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. If I could frown, I would so hardcore. <laughs> While looking for the piece of the campus, I met a hippie daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I thought that we couldn't since we were looking for the campus part, you know? Yeah, but Hazy said we could win the campus part in the upcoming drama slam. Uh, he said it was so called drama clama for a plaque or might uh, in fact be one of the parts. Oh, well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. 
Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Heart of the Social Awareness. And the script was great, but I got really hosed, bro. My role, my part, was grass. I played grass by the side of the road. <laughs> grass, bro. Grass. <laughs> and my ass was grass the entire time. I was sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everybody but me had lines. It's like being like a tree in a play. I don't care about it was red and green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, a musical it was the talk of the town and we won the drama slum. I got the compass water I was after, but even after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party just made me feel worse, so I snuck out the back door. But wow, outside were tons of fans. By fans, fans of grass, they swarmed me. I just couldn't believe it. Imagine cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added the piece of the marvelous compass which pointed north. It pointed me to the rapturous ruins in Grimble, uh, Grimbley Forest, the forest, and then the voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclaire, how do you soothe me? I will be grass for you. I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, sorry about that, bro. Um, uh, so yeah, anyway, and then I got back to my boat. I came back to a rug boat, and here I am. Another leg on my adventure completed. <laughs> Wanna hear about something else? What a love of God, no! <laughs> if you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Okay, what really happened? I am hazy, and I must say, Luigi is a great actor, one of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. <laughs> His ass is grass. Oh yeah, I can be a boat. <laughs> How do I unboat myself? <laughs> there we go. Whee! Like, was there a reason for me doing this? Oh, I guess here. I forgot I had the Princess Peach fucking thing. Toy boat ten times fast, right? I don't need stupid TV, it never works. <laughs> Just hit it! <laughs> you got a star piece! Yahoo! <laughs> and here I go to fuck this purple ghost lady. What do you mean you're drifting the boat? <laughs> okay, what we need to do? I think we need to talk to, uh... Oh, we need to go and put our shit away. Oh, Mario, listen! That must be an email from Princess Peach! Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held. But there's an odd computer called Tech here. It made me run around naked, but I was invisible, so it didn't matter, so nobody could see me. Hmm? By cooperating with, the, with, te with this Tech, I've managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email what you email you again once I learn more, okay? Be good. Princess Peach. Oh my! That princess of yours is so courageous. We better get to work. I would kill for you. <laughs> Alright, so I need to go ahead and get the star map bullshit. Well, Red Mage issue four! Well, for today, late in the afternoon today, Gomez, known as Nap, known for napping in the flowers in the West Side Park, was found eating flowers and given a stern warning by authorities. Asked, asked for comment, Gomez stated, 
Well, I would just really, really love flowers and I was hanging out and before I knew it, they were in my mouth. Yeah, well, same thing with Dick. Hmm. And I'm so ashamed. Shannon says a rogue port responded with disbelief and grudging uh, support for the strengthening of flower conservation efforts. Shop reporter go! This time we introduced the Twilight Shop, watching the husband and wife pr uh, proprietors of the shop, uh, <laughs> ripping Tura to its done, Lum Mal. <laughs> watching the husband and wife proprietors of this shop at work is a heartwarming sight, but don't get on the hubby's bad side. <clears throat> don't you go smiling at my wife, he says, jo jovially jealous shopkeeper. I'm hers for life, and your fancy big city teeth aren't gonna change that. Well, who could doubt their eternal love? Surely th not this, reporter. We press the shopkeeper for further comment, but regret that his words are unprintable here. He said a lot of bad slurs. <laughs> we did learn from his highly chatty spouse that there will be a double point sale for all RDM readers. Just show her your butthole on this screen in the next 15 minutes and double your points on any purchase. Cooking for rookies. All right, my little rookies, we're on to an intermediate level recipe today. The dish is just a healthy salad, just slice up a turtle leaf and a horsetail, mix them together, and boom! You're done. Perfect for your next gathering of herbivores. And here's a note. That all, that's all for today, but check your mailbox soon for another exciting issue. Welcome to my Rogue Park Restoration Committee. Spicy! Yes, hello, I am Bulbasaur. <laughs> I have been... I have been unable to forget that savory hot dog flavor. My taste buds are sweating in anticipation of your next spicy visit. By the way, have you heard? Dried bouquets are not flowers that have withered and gone dry. They are actually flowers that have had the clocks of their lives adjusted to tick just a little slower than normal flowers. I hope you will take the time to stop and smell these delicate flowers. In fact, I would like you to come visit me again with the above mentioned item. Yours in spiciness, Bulbasaur. Hmm. Fuck, where the hell was he? I think he was in the, uh, the other town. Time you two? Nah. Wait, what was Jumpman? Increase jump attack power but lose your hammer. Nah, fuck that. Where, 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 fuck? Yeah, I, I think he was here. Yeah, it's back here. Alright, so I think mainly for right now, we're gonna be uh, going to uh, Funky Town. Yeah, you're not. You're not Bubble Brother. I think we're gonna do like the side quest uh, stuff. In my playthrough, I'm at that part of the game. I have no idea what that part of the game is. <laughs> Probably some late game build that uses that, but not right now. Maybe? I'm playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door a lot lately. Yo, same? I wasn't sure at first, but that game is awesome. I just beat it every chapter. Totally cool ending. I loved it. So worth the money. Think there'll be a sequel? Oh, I, mean, I hope so. Is this my first time playing to uh, Thousand Year Door? Yes, it is. If not, I hope they make a Paper Luigi game. Yeah, that'd be awesome too. I want it to be a Paper Luigi game. Oh, 
Oh dear. Damn. Jumpman and Hammerman build uh, require some specific setup. Yeah, because like you, because there's like some enemies that are just like. Yeah, because there's just some enemies that are like, oh, you need to fucking hit him with a hammer, or, or you have to jump on them. Because like, oh, it was spike on their head and shit. But yeah, this is my very first time playing this game. And it's primarily, primarily because getting an actual fucking copy of, like, the GameCube game was just too goddamn expensive. Did we get Spike Shield yet? No, we did not. Uh, that was, like, what? Down the sewers, right? If you find two certain badges, Jumpman can be deadly. Because, <laughs> like, what? It's Jumpman... You need like the spike one and something else. I guess something that makes your makes your uh, jumps uh, more t more uh, more powerful or something. What the fuck are you doing here? The magic Koopa. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go tattle you. See, see, map, and I understood so hard. That's a magic Koopa, you know, a Koopa wizard. Max HP is seven, attack is four, and defense is zero. It'll throw a load of pain your way while using magic to help its buddies. What a creep. And then, and when there's only one of them, it splits up into multiple copies and mess with us. Send us think faster, we'll be in a world of hurt. Okie dokie. I hope you enjoy dying. Woohoo! It is totally wizard. That's so wizard. I have a better hammer. I hope you enjoy dying. Wahoo! Spike shield and a badge that comes into play in chapter five. Well, I think we just beat chapter five. I believe I believe we're on chapter six now. Like we just have to go ahead and put the. Uh, Put the uh, star in the door. Ice power, maybe? Oh god! <laughs> I forgot he, he throws the hammer. the ice one, I'm not sure. We weren't sure what chapter one was on? Yeah, like, uh... Level 16, we got Miss Mouse, we got, uh... Bobbery. Yeah, so I think we're starting chapter six today. Oh, yeah, I do have ice power. So I just need the other one, and then I just get, like, the jump... Jump man, and then I'm just selling, like, OP as dicks.
Alright, where was the, uh... The spike shield? Was it to my right? Except the ceiling ones. Spike shield is to the left. Okay. Yeah, I never quite l did learn how to fucking... Uh... Ooh. Yeah, I never did quite learn how to... Uh... Do shit. Uh, learn the map here. Okay, now that's one. Now it makes me wonder how the hell do I reach that? Because I can't, like, use the Yoshi. A later ability? Okay. Next chapter. Okay. So what? I get like like what? Like a, a high jump? How my partner levels? I've only leveled up Vivian. <laughs> but uh, I think once I'm done with all the other stuff here, I can level up my partners like twice. I want to say. And then once that's done, uh, I'll level up everyone else accordingly. Get the big chest and rogue for it. Ah. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Welcome, check Repo's adjustment house. This is where you come to adjust your stats or your partner's ranks. If you want some adjustments done, talk to me on the other side of the table. Ooh. Don't use this guy. Fair. So we can upgrade partners even more. That is true. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll have to wait six. All right. That's right. He raises one of your stats while lowering another. Oh, fuck that. Chill out. So, what's a good one? Decreases the food of power Mario uses for moves by one. That's not bad. Flower finder. I don't know. I don't really care. During battle, enemies will. I mean, that's not bad either. Pretty lucky. Actually decent map. Like, where's this lead me to? And that leads me outside. Spider! 
Falling Shield was on the right side! <laughs> Man, she mapped and I felt that. It's on the same path you first took to the door. I don't know what that means. A Koopa Troopa who protects himself with spiked armor. I was just doing right now, eating? <laughs> Gooning. Hey, Mom. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Oh, muy bien, gracias. I'm gonna grab. Yeah? Presents. Uh, for Everett's birthday this weekend? Mm -hmm. Alright, what time is that happening? It's around three. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna pull them out right now. Making any tapioca? No, no tapioca. God, God damn it. Alright. Wanna go and see the gato move? Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna disappear later. Alright, Tertrolinis, have a good one. Is it the door that you need to squeeze past on the way to the Thousand Year Door? Ah. When the beginning of the game, when you first were heading down the thousand year door, you passed some barred off doors. Uh, it is the one with the with an open doorway. Oh! Okay, I think I might know. Yeah. Fuck you! I don't want your much charity. Yeah, sorry about that. I wanted to go talk to my mom really quick. She just popped in. That's all the attacks and donation. <laughs> I basically tip. Oh god, oh fuck. Uh, you can have a Trevor. Excellent! Remind me to share my 20 years of on and off experience with this game. As long as you're not backseating, it's it's more than welcome. If it's just like to help guide me to something, awesome. But it's not if it's not to tell me how to play the game, I, I don't mind. We're gonna need those points. Yeah, because I've been mostly asking for like a guide on like where to go versus of like telling me how to play a game. <laughs> All right, uh, power to smash. 
Goombella, tell this man's balls, please. Oh, I don't have to. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Okay, let's go figure out where the fuck I need to go. But first, I want to save. Am I gonna do the pit of a t of 200 trials? I have not yet. I could do it though. The fuck you doing here, Toad? You took on my trouble. Oh, thank the stars. This is just terrible. Oh, I forgot all about you. My dad went into the pit of 100 trials, and uh, now you never came out. He lost his job and said the only way to support us was the pit's treasure. If I don't need treasure. I just want my dad back. Please help him. Fuck. I guess I have to do it. But first, kid, I gotta go ahead and beat up someone. You can, I can do that easy? Oh, fuck yeah. I don't go that far down too. Oh, thank Christ. Thought I would have to do the whole damn thing. Boogity, boogity. <laughs> Imagine. Do you want the number four just in case? Uh, I don't think I'll need it. Oh, the choo choo. Because like, I think it would like it would just send me down there, right? And I'll find them. Like I guess it would be some sort of clue that tells me. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Let's go. Okay then, now we must go see Professor Frankly. Oh, yeah. No, you have to fight through them? Oh, shit. <laughs> Great news, my friends. Now we know the next Crystal Star is in Poshley Heights. Hey, isn't that the place simply bursting with the rich and famous? Excellent. Yes, yes, and I do believe Poshley Heights is also home to a shrine to the stars called uh, Poshley Sanctum. There is a toad in the, on, on the right level, but there is an NPC that lets you skip floors. Oh. The next crystal star must be hiding inside that shrine. I'm most certain of it. Fairly certain. Mostly certain. I think I'm certain. But hey, not fear some monsters or dangerous dungeons this time. There's a simple tourist attraction. Well, don't tease it, Professor. How do we get there from here? Take the fucking choo-choo. That's the best part. You ride for most of the, you ride the most famous train of all, the XS Express. Yeah, it's after a luxurious steam engine excursion. The next crystal star will be yours. And getting those crystal stars has been back-breaking work, but this time will be a cinch. You know, I had heard that one must be financially replete to ride the XS Express. Mm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta for help with this, too. Oh, I do not think that's a good idea. Do you know him? He is not one to mess with. Oh, well, if we have to, then I'm in. But I... But it could get ugly. Come on, Mario, let's go. Sorry. 
So like, do you squeak like a like a chew toy? Like when uh, someone like uh, penetrates you? Or... <laughs> Actually, the dead reset. We may not uh, have that much time until the demon resurrects. You must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. <laughs> Boo mail? Are you Mario? Did this email? Did you get this email? Look, technology freaks me out. So if you're not Mario, please destroy this email, okay? This message was now self-destruct. But if you are, thanks to save, for saving my captured friends, I figured I'd share a hot tip with you as thanks. So here it is. Uh, there's a lot of treasures in Creepy Steeple. Of course, knowing you, you probably already found it all. Ugh, I'm so useless. Well, enjoy your not so useless adventure. The Creepy Steeple Boo. Hey, he's not a nice one. The hell are you doing out here? Oh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air beyond a reversible stair. Near the empty black chest that cursed you lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure this out the mystery, come and tell me immediately. So I gotta go back to the dragon's lair. Okay, dokie, but first let's go find out that fucking uh that fucking uh badge. Okay, so you said it was to where? Do I go left or right? I think it was left you guys said? Or was it right? Go down to bar pipe, so... I'm guessing not this one. Yeah, like, I have no idea of like, I've never learned the fucking layout of the, of the sewers. Hey, <laughs> Bitch slap. Harry, this filthy casual. Alright. What? Take pictures of the cat. That's the precious to me. Oh damn, I just realized we went down to 77, went down to 77 subscribers. Bro just buried the nuke! I forgot where that was from! That is no Venus. These actually might be a good place to level up for our grind for right now, because I get like 10 stars. Alright, so I gotta go down. Zeke with the gift that's sub to Lady Me! Ah! Did I just. Ow! The Latimer joined House Foxheart. Enjoy your gift that's sub, Latimer! Yeah, I guess so. Like, fuck.
I was like, what'd you do? Oh, you just healed. Your mom's a horrible person. Yeah. You gotta pee down D up. Alright. Uh, what's it through here? Yes. Okay, and I need Vivian. I did too early. Three minutes. 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 I'll get some water in just a sec. Bad, make my own little jump with spiky foes that'll be counter attacked. Whoa, how much is it? Three penis. Can I jump on this? It lied to me. All right, so while that's happening, I'll go ahead and get uh, get some water. Also, gotta get a stretch for a sec. Alright, got my water. I'm drinking out of my Sailor Moon mug too. Well, Sailor Moon, uh, like Starbucks like cup. Moonbucks coffee. Alrighty. That should have hit me. Cool, so we got the spike shield. Uh, let's go to hell. Hydrate, you got it, boss. Yeah. yeah, we are now at uh, 78 subscribers. Again, if we were to go ahead and get to uh, 100 subscribers, we'll be playing the Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer, uh, Crowd Control. And if we were to get to 150, we'll be playing the Zelda CDI games. And 200, I'll be dolling myself up with makeup, wig, uh, various female clothing. And we'll be playing Final Fantasy 7. Can we get those sub goals met? I would love to play Final Fantasy 7 all dolled up during Pride Month.
I just realized this is the wrong way. Because, look, I need to go to the dragon to get the extra level up thing. Yeah, because it was on mailbox. It was like I think my journal. Uh, notes. I need to save my day. You haven't had your fortune told. Oh, okay. I have to Penisburg. It's past the reversible stair, and then the past the chest that cursed you. Okay, thank you for that. Yeah, because like I legit like did not remember. I have a memory of a goldfish, and I hate it. Wait, oh, oh, that's right! I keep forgetting it's the other way. I'm like Leon in Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. Terrible sense of direction. <laughs> thing for me to sail my ship on or is that not it no I was gasoline myself on it Wow. 
playing F099? I see you, Zeke. Is that any good? I never was good at F0. Uh, that's right. I totally forgot you can cross that British Guard with Yoshi. Now, time to find out where the hell that damn, uh, thing was. Meow, 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 meow. God, that's so good. Pass the chest that cursed me. It's fun, though hard, with mostly sweats and zero balance of skill. That's... I guess so. I never was good at racing games. Racing games and, uh... Flying games, I never was. You got an up arrow. It's unclear what this, meant, what this means. You should ask somebody. Super. I mean, I'm super. I'm Super Mario! <laughs> so Miyamoto confirmed that there is only one Mario. So that this Mario is the same Mario from like... Mario 1, 2, 3, World, fucking... Is it the same thing as 3D Marios? Apparently. Who is more super than fucking super fucking Mario? <laughs> right? Like, I just saw I saw a theme about that recently, so like, I guess there's only one Mario, unlike how there's like many links. Like, this Mario is the same Mario from all the other games, apparently. He's just papered. It was from like some weird article that I read like today, and I have no idea if it was like a like a, the hard drive or like the uh, the onion article. I don't know if it was or not. Lunar song with the tier one sub. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. Lunar Song underscore joined House Fox Heart. Now we're up to uh, 79 subs. Let's go. Did I go down? Oh, damn. My quality dropped suddenly. Ooh, okay, yeah, it's going down. Like, am I still alive?
Yeah, the stream has been freezing running now. That is so weird, like, uh... Like, it just suddenly, like, fucking took a nosedive. It hasn't been doing that for, for some time, so I was like, huh. I'll keep... Okay, went back up to the green, so I might have had a, a, like a big hiccup. So it's a good thing I didn't go down. If it gets worse, if it gets worse, I'll probably stop the stream to redo the uh, router and I'll be back, but I think it seems to be stable right now. Yeah, cause like, that was fucking weird. Yeah, so I guess it was just like a hiccup. song you crashed the stream a bit <laughs> I'm just trying to find something to blame oh it's going down to yellow okay I'm been to red your sub was too powerful If it gets worse, I'll probably have to like redo the uh, the router. You know what? It is a Monday. It it, it it's that's what's doing it to us. Is that on your hand? It keeps hiccuping. Think we wise to do that now. All right, I'm gonna go be right back, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, restart the router. So give me like maybe five minutes. <laughs> 